Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to our YouTube channel, Making It in Austria. My name is Adela Mejjanic, I'm your host. And today I have a pleasure to have my uh, guest, uh, Domagoj Szymetski. Domagoj, welcome to the channel. Hi, thank you, Adela. Yeah, like with all of my guests, I would like to ask you to introduce yourself briefly to our audience. Yeah, hi, uh, my name is Domagoj, as Adela already mentioned. Uh, I, uh, yeah, uh, I'm Cro I was born and raised in Croatia moved uh, to a couple of countries during my life uh, due to uh, education and uh, work purposes and uh, I was mostly co concentrated in my working career on uh, on uh, telco and IT and completely ICT uh, part so this is where I work and uh, yeah I currently I live in uh, Vienna in Austria. So you mentioned them ago that you have traveled around a couple of cities, you lived in, in different countries. So how did you end up in, in Vienna? So what did brought you to Vienna? Well, it's a funny story. As I said, you know, firstly, I, um, as I was coming from Croatia, I um, uh, moved uh, by the end of the, my high school education and moved to the United States uh, and graduated from high school there. And somehow uh, I wanted to move back to Europe. I wanted to do my university in Europe. And since I'm coming from Zagreb, Croatia, the closest American university was in Vienna. So I actually, it was, I think, 2001 when I ended up in Vienna on an American university and basically spent four years here. Um, so this is my first interaction with Austria. And of course, back then I was a student. But then um, I moved back to Croatia, to Serbia, uh, was uh, partially also in Hungary. And then uh, at the end, uh, you know, it was uh, 2012 when I uh, reunited with Austria or Vienna in general again. And this, this time it was uh, business related or work related. And since then I'm here uh, living with my family yeah, mm. and working fully. So for you, it was mostly relocating for your job or have you been looking for a job here? Actually, this was a sort of a relocation because I was working in a subsidiary back then in Serbia uh, of a company which I yeah, worked then and I was somehow invited uh, to join the, the, the group uh, level uh, in Austria. So it was more of a relocation. But, you know, of course, it, uh, and, uh, you know, I had this experience of Austria from before and Vienna from before as a student. But still, you know, uh, this whole settlement lasted uh, a bit longer you know it was a different different you know requirements this time and different setup this time yeah? so. Mm. so as i ask most of my guests because for people who are listening this they're thinking about moving to austria they're thinking about uh you know relocating or finding a job and starting mm. from scratch so how important is that uh, german language that everybody's talking about to get a job here uh generally i think it's very important right uh, maybe not the most crucial sometimes for instance i didn't know german since i studied on the american university my german was very basic level uh, but i think it gives you a special advantage if you know this and uh, of course for some uh, uh, for some uh, backgrounds for some mm -hmm. job positions um, for some industries is very crucial um, and especially as Austria is part of this Dach region, so-called, you know, it's, I think in Germany is uh, very uh, important. So, yeah, my tip would be that uh, I, you know, I regret so many times that I haven't uh, been fully proficient and uh, fluent in German. But in the meantime, I did some courses, I did some studies, and over the time, you know, my uh, German became more and more proficient, I would say. So I think, yes, in general, it's it's important. It's may maybe not the most crucial thing, of course. Someone can get a job, but it's definitely easier um, uh, easier to understand the culture, easier to adopt to yeah. the workplace and also the society. Uh, and I also tip for the ones that don't know German but are relocating to Austria. I would definitely suggest that uh, they start with a studying German as soon as possible. Yeah. Mm. Thinking about that um, back then when you moved to, to Austria, so what were your kind of challenges? So what have you been you know, confronted with that you said, oh, I remember that still? Yeah, one of the things is the German language, of course, <laughs> because when you come somewhere, not a lot of people speak English and are pretty resistant to that. So it was basically tough because either sometimes uh, you couldn't explain or understand what you needed or uh, you basically needed the help of someone else. And of course, so uh, 
maybe for me it was good that I knew some people uh, from before. Uh, so my network was, I wouldn't say pretty extensive, but at least I knew whom to ask what. Um, so yeah, uh, basically this helped me a lot uh, when settling again, you know, doing the registration, and this Meldumia and uh, all of that, you know, you need to uh, find an apartment, live somewhere, apply for the address, apply for different things, open a bank account, etc, etc. And basically uh, this first couple of months, because I started, you know, as soon as I relocated, I started working. Were pretty hectic because you need to settle all of those things in the in the same time. So these were some of the challenges at the beginning. Mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. And now you feel like you're at home in Vienna. So with your yes, family, yes. with your business, and yeah. Yeah, basically, I wouldn't say half of my life, but it's uh, going towards that. I spend in Vienna. So uh, yeah, of course, my family is here. I have a small child, um, and somehow I feel very accustomed, and I like. Uh, you know living in vienna because uh, you know in the meantime I'm, I'm very interested in art and culture itself and uh, this is what vienna has uh, maybe one of the best places in the world to offer that it's pretty safe or clean um, you know there is no backs and forths it's usually you know you know what you need to do and uh, there's some regulations which are written or non-written uh, customs like standing on the right side on the the elevator scales in in a subway and uh, yeah so so i like it actually yeah and um, yeah i i can say i feel uh, when i'm in vienna i feel like i'm at home since you mentioned the fam family and probably people who are looking watching this so they're they're moving here with into austria with a family so any any tips so i know your your girl was born here so it's probably different but how about people who are coming here with kids settling yeah. in <clears throat> well i don't have that experience but i know a couple of people that did um so you know to be honest and frank uh, it's not easier um it's definitely harder, but the suggestion is that um, depending on the, the age of the, the kids, it's mm -hmm. definitely a re recommendation to start as soon as possible with the integration, either in kindergartens or in schools. And uh, this is this benefit that uh, children learn foreign languages much faster and they adopt much faster. So I would say, yeah, uh, this is definitely a tip, you know, to start as soon as possible with this transition and integration of the children in a either kindergarten or school society. Mm, definitely. Yeah. Um, Tomoko, tell us a little bit what you do in your job. So maybe we missed that first part, but just yeah. a little bit, you know, you're in the ICT industry, in the IoT industry. Uh, it's probably easier to find a job in, in this industry than, than the others. Tell us a little bit what you do. Well, um, I'm basically my whole career, and it's, uh, I think, 16, 17 or 18. 17 years, I think. Yeah, uh, I've been with the telcos mostly, you know, started with the T-Mobile or Deutsche Telekom, then moved to uh, A1 uh, group. And uh, I was also in Tele2 for uh, almost four years, I think. And then uh, at the end, uh, I'm currently employed by, by Nokia. So yeah, my positions usually included the direct sales positions or maybe some channel management, partnership management, uh, business development. Um, I even had the one title which was called evangelist. And uh, yeah, so, so I'm more into that direction of uh, maybe closer to the market, but still, you know, like, uh, very focused on the technology and what it brings. Yeah, from the technology perspectives, from the telco uh, technology, I was also very much involved in this whole um, uh, M2M or machine to machine or what it's called uh, IoT Internet of Things lately. And with Nokia, I'm uh, pretty much also uh, concentrated on the software um, or maybe applications that come on top or sideways to the, the whole mm -hmm. evolution of the networks and 5G, and et cetera, et cetera. So mm -hmm. this is what uh, it's generally my uh, specialization, yeah. Very good. So you're working in the future, you know, as you said, 5G, IoT. Uh, that's how Domago yep. and I, uh, for, for our audience, so that's how Domago and I met. So we worked together at mm. Tele2 IoT uh, for a few years. Um, Domago, before we, you know, close up, um, let's think about, let's try to summarize uh, for people who are considering uh, moving from wherever they are. They could be, you know, from, from Croatia, but they could be mm. in the US. What would you advise them? 
uh, to think about, like three tips or from your Yeah, f firstly, you know, uh, Germany, yeah? uh, that's uh, one of the points. Second is uh, to uh, start uh, and uh, get introduced to the people to build up a network there you know beforehand i can i can try to see whether someone knows someone that uh, already lives in austria maybe they know someone as a couple of uh, recommendations tips you now what do's or don'ts and uh, mm -hmm. yeah how to go about some things of course i, I mean uh, currently this whole pandemic situation is tough but vienna offers a lot of meetups and uh, different um, uh, places where people with different industries in interests meet up Mm -hmm. so definitely this is also a recommendation and yeah i mean vienna in general is very multicultural uh so there is no worries about that uh, but definitely I, I would say yeah do your network meet with people that have the same interest and of course german uh, mm. so this is that's a really good summary yeah. and last but not least i ask uh, my all of my guests what are you reading at the moment so what could you recommend to our viewers uh, well, I'm reading one uh, uh, art book actually at the moment, like the history of complete art. It's a pretty extensive <laughs> book. <laughs> so due to my uh, interest in art, but uh, yeah, uh, this is something a bit different. Usually I read a lot of uh, different uh, bestsellers or uh, maybe business related uh, books or topics. So, but this one I would definitely recommend. The yeah. history of art, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. That, that's a that's an interesting book for from from my um, guests uh, because as you said usually they recommend some business books or psychology books or economic books uh, books related to their job but I really like that one as well we should all Good. and as you said Vienna is an art city with lots of art to offer so there's yeah. a lot of lot of to that and we see in the background there's a lot of art uh, sure. in your apartment as well. Perfect. Thank you, Domagoy, um, for being our guest, uh, for sharing your story. I wish you all the best with all your projects, adventures. I know you have lots of lots of on your on your plate. Uh, and uh, for all of our viewers, um, thank you for watching. Please, you know, comment, like, share, subscribe. If you would like to get in touch with Domagoy, I will link his um, a LinkedIn profile in the comment section. You can always, you know write him a message he he's the one who's very very fast answering and he's always has his phone next to him so i'm sure he will get back to you thank you all thank you adela and all the best and good, good luck to you all yeah thanks Tomogod.